still this one. Okay. And the phone is charging, and I have now one, two, three lights. I'm not attached, but I'm charging one, two, three devices at the same time. So I um, can charge those later. <laughs> I just don't have the cables. Okay, yeah, so I think this is already much better. The light is not so blinding. Um, let's, yeah, I don't know if this is too far away or too close. At least you get a little bit to see a little bit, the space here. Um, yeah, I'm actually sitting sitting in the north. <laughs> Usually I have the bike, the generator, the muscle power plant standing over there so I can see outside of the window. So I usually, the window is in the east, the sewing machine and the muscle power plant, all the machinery is in the west. <laughs> um, yeah, sleeping in the north, kitchen and stove over there in the south. Um, right now outside minus 10 or something. Um, and I'm burning like, you know, a log of this size with this diameter. Um, I think every one and a half hours one. Um, and actually it's too warm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm also like, um, sometimes it's, it's, it's so, you know, like I have to work, I need light and like, usually I like to sit just on the sofa behind me, having the blanket over, but now that I'm kind of working out in the open, I run the stove. Um, but when I work just using the phone, um, reading, research, writing, commenting, activism stuff usually, then I just sit on the sofa behind me, this, you know, kind of a futon thingy thing and have one or two blankets over me. And yeah, so it's a it's a heated space, um, very energy efficient and like I'm never cold, you know, just for this experience about being in the winter in the yurt in the subarctic. This is now the third winter and yeah, I'm quite quite happy how things are so I really like I started to like 12 degrees 18 degrees really max and then there are different areas in the kitchen it can be when I'm cooking especially frying something uh, I can have 29 degrees there right near the stove while it's maybe 16 17 in the bedroom um, and what I noticed that really helps <laughs> is to to always slightly be on the cool side of things you know like try to be on the cool side of comfortable and and at some point that will be comfortable and so by now it's gone down really a lot to me and when I come home sometimes and it's like haven't heated here for a day or two because I was away then it might be you know three degrees in here plus around zero so you can be without gloves you know you can do things without gloves there's no wind right there's no wind chill so, um, and then just with a jumper, warm clothes, working under the blanket, I just don't feel any need to heat the space to be warm. So I like to be warm. I, I really, I, I think I'm never cold. Sometimes in the sauna, when I'm too long in the ice water or in the snow, then I might feel cold, but then I also know that I'm gonna go in the sauna next. So I kind of, it's on purpose. But in my everyday life, I'm never cold. I don't like being cold. Um, and that just works by being dressed okay for the temperature so right now it's too warm for me <laughs> but it's good okay that was it just a little video and um have a good time check out my channel and subscribe bye bye